Let's continue campaign. Iron Man Legendary um, uh, Confederate campaign with JMP's mod. Um, looking at doing the minor battles after uh, Antiet Antietam. And both of them actually look pretty easy. So they get uh, 25,000 extra soldiers here. But we hit them enough that they're at a basic minimum, I believe. So both Prairie Grove and uh, Corinth look uh, relatively easy. They give us tons of time on them. I think uh, and Corinth, I think, has 18 troops we bring in. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so 18 and the other one is 14. So we'll bring... Uh, our first three divisions for career points i'm going to want to go logistics but i'm also going to want to have a uh, for fredericksburg i'm going to want to have a fifth division and maybe even a fourth core so uh, because logistics doesn't do anything until after fredericksburg we'll might as well get our army organization up to where we need it now so it's at nine and then we'll put the rest into logistics as we get it which will probably just be two points All right, just gonna up my soldiers here. I'd uh, love to give these guys that are three star, just let them keep their stats and keep going up. But I mean, like, if we look here to put those 250 troops into veteran costs an extra 10,000. So after every battle doing 10,000 and the higher this gets, the more expensive it is to get veteran replacements. So while I'd love to make them super three stars, I think keeping them at three stars is most reasonable because they do take casualties. Might be an exception for Hayes who I can do some of them I got for, but for the infantry, I don't think so. So uh, rookies, so we keep the three star and then better up doing 1,300. I don't mind buying a couple Enfields. Actually, maybe I shouldn't. How much are Enfields? Fields are 21. I really should be getting Harper's or Lorenz's instead. Yes, sir. Oh, don't we have actually the 1863s? Oh, look at that. That'll make Kemper pretty strong. Very nice. So one thing I'd also like, uh, now that I have a fifth division, I wouldn't mind making one melee brigade in here. Um, I gotta see how many guns I have left over. Oh, yeah, let's uh, get these. Oh shoot! Actually, let me. Uh, well, I guess we're Iron Man, so I won't do it. I shouldn't have replenished these two guys because I'm not gonna use them. I don't want to bring them into this battle. they're already three star there's no point in getting them experience if these battles are as easy as I'm hoping they are so I'll put all my three star guys down here we don't really need to use cook as well very nice um, hmm Barrett am I going to So I'll have to buy eight. Yeah, that's worth it. Keep them at three stars. So these will be my non three stars. Oh, I guess I should get Haze out of there too. Hmm. Yeah, 10,000. So Haze is an example of a guy that I just will leave at max, and he'll get higher efficiency morale and maximum stamina firearms. I think it's worth it. Hopefully he doesn't take enough casualties, and if I ever do think he's taking too many casualties, I could always potentially replace him with rookies anyway at that point. Um, so Forest, oh, lost Forest last battle. That was terrible. Well, I guess we'll leave Terrell in charge here.
He should be three star after this battle, but I need to get him. To 500 rookies. I want these guys up to 800. Um, I really use my, or abuse my cavalry a lot. And so they really should be heavier so they can take more casualties, get more experience and get easier replacements. Um, maybe we'll do veteran this time. Let's see what it costs veteran. Oof, 30,000. What else am I spending it on though? Maybe we'll do a bit of rookies. Oh, actually, I can't leave Terrell in charge because I'm going to need someone who's high ranking because I don't have Forrest anymore. Robert leaves a little too high ranking. Let's get Wheeler. That's nice and high ranking. Yes, sir. Oh, look, I'm at three star again. There we go. Now, um, can I get better? I can get the Enfield 61s. They're pretty sweet. I don't fire as fast as the burn side, which can reload twice as fast, which is very nice. So 45% of max range, 45%. So this is doing, um, I guess, about four damage, a little less than four. And this is doing um, about 5.7. So doing about 40% more damage per shot but twice as slow to reload. I mean, it could be pretty good. The one negative, I guess, is they're more expensive and I already have the burn sides. Oh, look, I can't actually get. Oh, I can, I have 600, yeah, 675. Maybe I'll just stick with the burn sides because they're free. Or maybe actually, instead of doing 800, I should really get them up to 1,000. The enemy cavalry is like maxed anyway. Yeah, I think I should go 1,000 on my cavalry now. Um, when I fight them, they tend to be 1,000 to 2,000 anyway. So if my average cavalry size scales up, it's not so significant. Plus, they're not... Um, the enemy cavalry's, uh, although problematic and can be deadly, um, often they derp a lot and just don't do effective moves. And so uh, of all the enemy units, besides infantry would be my favorite for them to scale up on, but cavalry next. Artillery and scouts tend to be the most deadly. So I try to keep my artillery down at 10 guns and my scouts nice and low, uh, about 300 or less troops. Just a second here, I'm just gonna check to make sure we're actually streaming. Good. All right, so let's do a thousand. That's gonna be expensive to buy those all up. I'll be spending a lot of money on it, but again, my cavalry, I think are worth it. I really do, I spend so much. I mean, I use them so much. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oof, that's pricey. Eden died. Hood's taken over. Oh, look, Eden. Is he back? Oh, no, he didn't die. He was just injured and he's back. Look at that. wonder if it was different Edens that were running it. No, always Lance. Very nice. All right, so I only need you to be two star. Right, three star would be nice, but they take too many casualties, I think. My melee cap to really keep two, three star up. And I don't think actually the three star perk for uh, melee is that great. I think it's good, but. So Wheeler can actually go to this division here. If I'm gonna spend all my money pretty quick here. Yes, sir. Because Hill is gonna need more experience. Oh, actually, no, he's not. 
Because Hill's going to come back. That's okay. I'll bring Hill over into the first division. We'll use him there. We'll put Wheeler over here. Oh, wait. I can't do that, right? Because I don't want the extra scaling. Ah, uh, it's not such a big deal. On sharps, we do want to get you off the sharps, though. Maybe Hill will start putting you on... Hmm. I should go the end for it. The end fields. Okay, so. Hill's injured for this battle, so we'll just use Tribu. When he comes back in, though, he'll be a Brigadier General and have uh, more battles led, so he'll be back up to three star. So I don't know actually how many troops. I need to. Maybe something like that. And use more. Sh I don't want to use the sharps. I'd like to get rid of them. Oh, maybe we'll keep it. The sharps aren't that much worse than the other ones. And fields at 26 for by 1,000 be 26,000. Can do it about 5.7 versus 3.4 double damage in each shot. Is that double damage? So about, no, it's about 4, so 4 versus 5.7, so about 50% more damage. Yeah, sharps are similar to the burn sides. Okay, we'll leave it on the sharps. We'll get it, maybe... Six hundred forty-one, and they get the best rest in veterans. think hmm, I don't know where Hill's gonna be when I put him in charge it should be significantly higher actually he'll do a bit more rookies that's interesting let's see this let's do a little test here so if I'm gonna buy veterans it's going to cost me 26,000. And if I put. Kirkland in charge. See, lower ranked. Am I going to get. No, it's the same cost. I thought maybe because he'd have lower overall stats. But I guess that doesn't. That already considers that. All right. So we'll spend another 26000 there. Oof, that's a lot of our money gone just in Calvary. So uh, let's get also guys over here that aren't two-star yet, like Roberts. And Williams. Anyone here? This are good. I wouldn't mind getting Thomas some experience too. And then we're going to need some, not only the two stars are brought over, but also we're going to need more two stars because we've got three extra spots in each of our divisions. So um, Stuart died, I think, replaced with Williams, but I think I'm just going to add Stuart over here. And then he's almost two stars, so that'll be good. Oh, not bad, Stuart. There we go. Huh, four battles led. Oh. Very similar experience, even no battles led. And this guy's a lower rank. Hmm. Doesn't do as much as I thought. Alright, we'll get. Uh, I wonder. No, I guess we want to get them experience, so. Sir, yes, sir! Arthur is also be a good candidate to be a two star. So it fits you, but he doesn't have any troops. Um, one for would be better. One for it fits you, be probably too many. Ah.
Let's do this first. No, oh, Upton died, right? It's Morgan now, even though I have two other Uptons. Whoa! No, he didn't die. That's, I guess, the Upton, huh? Seven battles left, wow. What's this other guy? They're identical. I wonder, and the same face. I wonder if that was somehow a bug or something and I got a duplicate uh, general. Huh. All right, Upton, get you up to 1300. Almost three star, that's nice. guys I think to be a two star as well so Munford's in the best position I think so who I said before is gonna add Fitzhugh to him yeah let's do that a little bit too many but that's okay So how many do I have? There's my two two stars there. Oh, three two there is one too many. So I'm gonna bring in these 18. I'll have one disposable division in each brigade. I guess we might as well make it Alex and Davis for no reason not to. So Stuart Roberts and then Davis to take shots. Carther Williams. And then McLean to take shots. Mm, I hate refreshing McLean and having to buy Mississippis each time. But he's already got, oh, there's 800 of them. Oh, maybe it's time to switch over. Oh, the civvies are pretty cheap, actually. Yeah, no, we'll keep them on it. You have to Munford and Hobson to take shots. Okay, so those are my first three divisions. Let me two. Do I need, I guess I don't want to bring my, you know, we'll put, bring Ferrero over, get him even more experience. So he can hopefully start using weapons. We'll put Hayes into this division over here. Too bad we couldn't get the Whitworth yet, but soon. Oh, the Sharps is really good too, right? 475. I think the Enfield's better than the Sharps though. Yeah, 500, yeah, the infield's the second best sniper rifle. And we got lots of that, so... It's fine just to keep them on that. All right, so there, there, and so now for guns, I'm gonna want three smooth bore, three ranged. So I'll put my smooth bores up here. there. I don't know if... Oh, I guess I'll get parrot experience. Frustrating. I thought I'd have seven 20-pounders. It only gave me one in the shop. I was like, wow, that's pretty low. So hopefully I'll get more in the future. Um, although getting these guys to three-star isn't probably as important as getting some of the other cannons. So let's rotate them in. Yeah, the three-star perks, uh, they're nice, but they're not as good as the two-star perks. So we'll rotate all these guys out. Or I'll just put them in the fourth division for now. Let's get... Do we have any? Oh, most of our guys are two-star. Not in this division. Oh, even Smith already got it. That's nice. Right, 
so one, two, three, and one, two. So three smooth bores, and we'll get them on good howitzers now. We have a ton, which is yes, fantastic. Uh, 5,000 for just a smidge of experience. Probably not worth it. So make them rookies. Guys, we can switch over to James for keep. Those guys think I have to stick in ordinance. Oh, we got the better. Oh, Blakely's nice. to be about it. A few more on the ordinance. Hmm. Nah. Okay, so this is the visions I'll be using. I'll rely on my melee cab, hopefully keep me alive. Um, as far as reputation purchases, I might get the 53s. And field 53s, Richmond's I don't think are worth it. Um, and I might get AP Hill. I don't know what else I'm going to do with my reputation points, and it seems like the deals are getting worse and worse. I also have my second AP Hill. Uh, yeah, all right, let's get to the battles then. So first is Corinth. So uh, they have reinforced, they have uh, a defensive line here, some artillery and stuff, um, and it wraps around into the forest here, I think, and they get reinforcements over on this side. Let's see, our army is deploying to attack the Yankees north of Corinth. We need to seize this town, a critical junction north of Mississippi. I think we never were able, the Confederates never were able to retake Corinth, if I remember correctly. He'll lead the attack on the Federals' exposed left flank. Memphis Road is exposed, leaving a segment gap near their center. If you move slowly, you can crush them before the Yankees send reinforcements. No way you can actually crush them before they send reinforcements. Um, I have about... Uh, oh, double their guns, but I won't be bringing them in. Uh, but again, I only get to deploy half my units. So I, again, their soldiers really don't look too high. So I think these battles will be relatively easier. So my idea is to just get experience succeed without taking too many casualties. Yankees deployed the left flank of Memphis Road, leaving a significant gap. He's read that. Okay. So that's the first divisions as we planned. Yeah, all one star. Excellent. Okay. Um, so I think they have fortifications. We can see them here. And then over here or something. And then they're exposed over here, so if I really wanted to push them, I'd flank. But I think they charged me at first. I don't know the best place to hold off. I'm guessing in these heavy forests here, there's no reason when we start to advance in on them. So let's defend in that area. Put McLean and Hobson on our flanks. It'll come around to here, hit the side. And we'll have these guys in the center. Then Davis, Munford, and Roberts. It's going to be two packed in there. Um, maybe they'll hold over here just in case. position my artillery once we start. Uh, Terrell can stay over here to hit flanks as we need with Ferrero. 
And then Eden might look around, flanking their side. All right, let's give it a try. So uh, 326, I think the reinforcements come in in an hour. Hmm. Especially these guys here will need to be sitting over here to attack them in about an hour. So we'll just keep them behind us. Hobson's scout over here. Oh, I don't know if they have skirmishers. I probably should have tried to figure that out. I guess if they come in, I don't want to really be out in the open there. Oh, oh I should be okay there. Flank like this to start. Send Eden. To, oh, they have skirmishers. We'll keep Eden nearby in case they have skirmishers. I want to run down. All right, from artillery, get my rifled cannons here. My smoothbore is just in front. Trying to keep them out of the forest so they get maximum damage. I'll back these guys off a bit. All right. Let's see how it goes. So they don't have skirmishers, I guess, because I'm supposed to be attacking them. So that kind of makes sense. Or at least none that we can see yet. No, no one even spotted. We can move these guys up then. Oh, got a lot of force there. Oh, Fuller is coming in, so let's maybe not move up. Or really, just one brigade. I could probably take that pretty easily there. I wonder what type of cannons they have. Let's see if we have range on them once we get in position. Oh, it looks like we are going to. Nice they can see me there, a little too close. Oh, look, Osby's coming out too. So if they're pushing there and there, well, that should be fine. I should be able to hold here. We'll turn this line a bit. Looks like they're going to engage me more like this. Actually, that's not bad. Put a McLean right in the center. Actually, no, it's not. I don't want McLean in the center. I want him on the outside. Right there is good. Looks like there's no one going to be over here. I know they have guys down there. I don't know if I want to go in. Let's see if I can just pop in and take a peek at them. Oh, they do have skirmishers there. Maybe we'll hold off so we're kind of out of their range. Oof, charging. It's melee cap, they like to charge. They're gonna be coming in kind of heavy. We'll change mind and we'll back off again. Good McLean taking the hits, I think. Oh no, Stewart's taking the hits. Oops, I don't want that. Um, hmm. He has only a one star in 100% cover. Maybe that's not the end of the world. I need to get my carbine cavalry around here then and 
Ferrero, you should be over here then. Got to keep an eye on the time out of a 15 minutes. Well, should I, I don't know if I should block the reinforcements and hit, oh, look, they can see me there. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea to come over there. Um, I don't know if I should block the reinforcements or whether I should um, just flank all my entire army over on this side and then the reinforcements could come in and it'll just be another way of hitting me. I think we'll stick with this plan for now and see how it goes. Looks like Fuller is going for... So I think the horse cavalry is charging here, which should be fine. No, they don't have range. It's not charging anymore, but still coming in. Stone's moving up. It's kind of crazy. Oh, look at this. That's unexpected. Oh, skirmishers over there. I didn't see them coming in. Okay. Uh, let's move back to my original line then. Yeah, just do a rotation. These guys can hit those skirmishers from the side, hopefully. And keep my carbine cavalry over here to harass. Let's do it already. 30 deaths in 10 minutes. In an hour, it's going to be 280. -a. I don't like it. I think I'm going to put up with it, though. For now. Can't see those skirmishers anymore. It's too bad. of Upton and Hobson here, so Hobson can do a better job taking shots. Take a couple hits there.
not seeing where those skirmishers went. These guys look like they'll be nice prey for my melee. If I can get into a good position for them. So this is again one of the reasons I really like, uh, I really don't mind going heavy on the cavalry. So they've matched my size here, but they're being very easy to uh, dispatch of. It's good to keep these guys held because they don't reload fast when they're slowly rotating, rotating, rotating. Ooh, look at that. for about 50 damage each. It's pretty sweet. So this is interesting. I don't know who Oliver is going for, but he's going to take lots of shots as he does. Easily broken charge. Ah. Split artillery brigade. Let's get some shots in over here while we're charging. So I think um, what I'm going to have to do is I'm actually going to pull out from this side over here. 
firing it there. I guess better there than somewhere else. I'm going to pull out from this side and uh, bring these guys to defend here. And uh, once we get closer to a little bit further in, we'll also use them to we'll also bring some artillery over, maybe one more division, maybe I'll come over too. So it looks like I can hold this pretty easily, so we'll dispatch the reinforcements and then we'll focus on the main army. Stuart's gonna be punished for it. Better stone firing at the skirmishers, take less casualties than uh, than uh, Stuart over here. So no mind if he switches off. So we have another contender coming in. Should be able to stop this charge unless they do a massive charge altogether, which I don't think they will. And I have this guy over here to help out just in case. Interesting. Fuller. Oh no. Alright, let's go like this. We might need to finish off one of those brigades. It should be fine. We're in a good position. Uh oh. They are bringing a lot of force to charge. One, two, three. We'll see how it goes. Hope taking damage. Oh. That had to be an artillery shot. Yeah, there's no. It should be so unlikely that it's something else. Back off just a little bit so you can keep them out of range. hidden Eden. Yeah, so they are. Sears is able to hit them out to back off a bit more. So I think Fuller is fully focused on McLean's, so if I can get him to continue being distracted. Be able to do some reasonable damage on it. Oh, no, pillars. Oh, lost his ability to move the way up. can see from there.
horse cavalry is coming over here now. The horse cavalry, their cavalry is coming over here now. So I'll leave these guys for one second, and then I need to, after I push these back, I need to reposition over here. Alright, so Davis, you're going to have to be close enough to take the shots. You are going to get pounded on. I'm sorry about that. Roberts over here. I, I don't know where they come in, actually. This could get a little messy. I don't think so, though. Ah, oh. All of them are moving over there. Who's he moving towards? Looks like he's moving towards Hobson. Which would be crazy. Let's get Farrow back there, just in case. that those cavalry will charge me if I do. For the first battle, I haven't uh, destroyed my cavalry yet. That's very nice. Come down here, Upton's gonna get slaughtered. So let's keep these three guys together. Bring Davis down here, he'll be the one that gets slaughtered. We'll try to compensate as we need.
Yeah, this looks fine. I don't know if these guys are gonna make it there in time. So much for horse cavalry, horse artillery. that really slows them down. I have a feeling they're not going to be over here. They're going to be down here. I don't remember where. Shoot. Oh, here they come. It's not a massive boost. So, what? Where are they? Are they not even here? Uh-oh. Aren't they getting reinforcements somewhere else? I saw the blue go up. What's going on? Or did one of my divisions die? No. I have no idea what that was. No. Oh my gosh. Okay, so not quite from the side. You're charging. You're crazy. Uh, just get you out of the forest. Shoot, I should have been early than I expected. Um, we'll get you to help out. And Ferrero too, yeah. Oof. So they are down here more. Huh. Hmm. Oh, this is going to get hectic. Oh, poor Eden, you're going to break for sure. I don't think there's anything I can do to get you out of there. Too bad I wanted you to finish those guys. Let's see if I can just retreat you down there. No, I need you in as soon as possible. Okay, Davis, you're going to break too. Uh-oh. And this might just turn into a large fight out in the open. Well, I have my smooth bores. They're almost out of cover. I should almost charge him, but then he might run away somewhere. Hmm. Make sure he can stay there. Hmm. They did come in lower than I expected. These guys aren't even going to be attacking. No one's going to be hitting them. If no one's hitting them. They're going to kill me. Davis is going to break for sure. Eden's going to take massive fire. So I need Roberts to come up here, hit you. You two to run in and hit there. All right, let's see how this works. Get out of there, Eden. Hold still. There you go. Oh, 
Hopefully if Eden can recover, he can engage those guys again. This isn't looking too bad. So maybe it's just two divisions that come in. I really don't know how many reinforcements they get. Only two divisions, that's it. And no splits, I guess I was lucky. That's not as bad as I thought. Alright, let's get a uh, arrow down there and help that out then. Let's see if we can get Eden into action sooner. I can get Terrell out of there. Yeah. Good luck, Eden. I know your morale's low. Stay strong. Stay strong. Oh, back. All right, one more charge. guys unloading and the casualties go down so slow. Skirmishers really do a great job of taking the casualties. Rear flanked. Oh, got a shot off of those jerks. good start. How much percent? I lost almost 10% of my force already. Artillery is pretty strong. So now I'm going to have to begin my uh, flank. Look at that. I was sitting there the whole time, lost 20 casualties or so.
Oh, come on. I had him and then he went back. I know I'm hurting my own guys, but I kind of want to capture us. There we go, Sandborn. Get out of there, please. Wow, they're actually not that high. Uh, not a ton of experience. could hit there. Probably could. Let's see. Oh! Well, there's still someone left. This will let you two finish up. Coming for the... Oh, he lost sight of them. That's too bad. He'll still come. Spotted. Must be some other brigade over here, or maybe because I'm not in the open, not in the cover. really doing a good job of holding out. Well, I did abuse Eden. There's no real reason to take 250 casualties. That, yeah, that was kind of dumb. Let's see, don't need Terrell to hit those guys now. Let's see if we can start hitting uh, these artillery on the flank. Who's got the furthest range? James? Oh, 
Wow, look at the difference. Yeah, going through forest with horse archery, I didn't realize how much it slows you down. All right, we'll get Eden up here then. Just to help that, I don't think we'll need it. We'll get you guys like this. Harsh, those guys in fortifications really do uh, uh, keep, uh, they can fire in any direction, so it's hard to harass with horse artillery. stone. Look at those guys just asking to be attacked. So we'll go through faster, um, not through force, we'll do this. We'll bring Eden up for the major distraction. They'll take the casualties, hopefully. sit here for right now just while we're still in this kind of middle stage of harassing. Oh look at that, it's turning slow. So I'd like to put my skirmishers attacking those guys, but I'm just afraid they're gonna move up. I think they're gonna do it, but I'm gonna try to be very careful. But who? What? Oh. Yeah, Mealy Cab, it's hard to get close. Good timing, almost missed that. Or did miss it. Yeah, they're gonna get a shot off. Uh, it's okay, it's pretty cheap to replace those guys, but. Alright, Eden, I think you've done your job.
Should have been attacking these guys first, that would be the easiest to route. Ooh, I do like seeing my artillery shots come in on you. Don't like you looking directly at me like that. Rain. Distract. I took out 19 of my snipers. Oops, flanked. From over here? Okay, that should be good for now. They're not firing at me. from over there. But I have to remember to come over from that side. Yeah, definitely worth uh, getting a hundred in my cavalry. I really do use them a lot. So now these guys have to turn all the way around. They want to fire up here. Looks like they are. Wow, I didn't actually expect that. Eden's invisible. Maybe they have scouts or something over there. Let's go over to where Eden is then. they've turned around, we'll go and engage them again, it should slow them down. Can't do much over here, I don't think. No, I don't think so. I don't even need to attack them, that's not the important thing. The important thing is distracting them. I think one more volley. So they rotate away and now they're just not firing at me, which is amazing.
somehow in stealth up here, but now I'm not. right I want Davis in heavy cover these two guys flanking then Roberts will come over here like this and we'll start our flank Skirmish. I might actually be able to finish the skirmish off with my melee cap. Oh. Firing in there. Distract. Oh, lost them. Heard. There they go. Turn, turn, turn. Where do those skirmishes go, I wonder? Look how slow the counter artillery is though. Like, it take almost the whole battle to take out one of their artillery brigades with two of mine. Like it does damage, it's nice, but damn, it takes a long time. Oh, sorry, I got chat here going on. <laughs> Just read Hassan's comments. Oh wow, a lot of chat. Sorry guys, I'm not used to reading chat. Why are you retreating? I don't know when that was. Oh, enemy reinforcements, yeah. In the battle for cavalry. Mm. Pan is surprised I didn't use the trees. What trees? I'm using the trees. Are there other trees? Oh, here? Oh, because I didn't know the specifics? Yeah, the problem is if I come out here, they have the whole thing, and then I take a lot of damage moving up on them. If you can get the jump on them, they don't uh, break the morale too much. All right, hopefully that's all the chat. Look at all four artillery brigades turning. Uh-oh, a little too close. Who's taking it, Davis? Let's back off. Don't want fortification firing at us. And so once we have their artillery distracted, they really don't do anything to us. Like these guys firing into 100% cover and all my units firing at them. And we have lots of time on this battle, lots of time. Oh, that's beautiful, that's beautiful. I shall wait till they come all the way around. That should be good. They can fire all the way across there? Wow. All right, so, um, I almost just sit here and let my artillery feed on them. But no, let's get a, my smooth boars wrapping around. Let's 
It's too bad that my little chat uh, screen doesn't show me times, so I don't know if you guys said that half an hour ago or 10 seconds ago. get closer maybe get closer for shots too yeah you probably could let's get him up there I'm focusing on Hickenlooper, not Stone, um, because Stone is going to be easy to harass with my Carbine Cavalry. Whereas Hickenlooper might be more protected over here. This might be more difficult. I don't want to get cover on this guy because he, he loses damage once he starts getting cover. So once I see that go up, I have to stop out there. attacking him just because he's more likely to attack me soon and I can route him so he doesn't fire at me and then I can focus on stone after. These guys wouldn't be bad to engage actually. So let's uh, move up a little bit here. Not only do I get these guys rotating, moving off, but now Sears isn't firing at my brigades either, which is wonderful. What? From who? Where? Where do you get shot from? These guys might are covered and shot him. I didn't even watch. going to be the hardest I should be focusing on him. There is an option turn on timestamps. It's um, look at I look at chat on my phone, so I don't know if there's an option on my phone, but I'll play with it next time. See if I can see it. I wish I'd brought more rifle guns. Oh, shoot. Those guys can really fire. We gotta watch not coming over to the right. Oh. I see 
me there? I don't know. Yes, they can. Oh, darn. Kick and Loop's gonna be protected, so I guess I will have to focus on him with these guys. Folks, the Sears didn't even get distracted. That was disappointing. Let's try to see if we can get Sears looking at us. need to do anything, I just need to distract them. Oh, in my stream settings I can put timestamps on. Oh, neat. I'll look at that next time, I'll figure it out. What? They can fire from there to here? Should be far enough away. Is Sears turning? No, he's just reloading. He's not done a good job distracting. All right, well, let's get this wrap moving around. Stone will not like that. <laughs> shooting guns at me. Echo. Well, at least we got him rotated. Poor Taro getting beat again. Oh, I did so well at not hurting my horse to start. Not so good anymore. 300 and 100. Oh! They found their skirmishers. Up here or something. There are only 169. I might be able to rush them once these guys get in position. Another one drop off Hick and Loper. He's wavering. I'm gonna actually sacrifice even here. Oh my gosh, those guys can fire from so far away. Wonder if it would have been smarter just to take them full on. Seems like a bad idea. Ouch. 
Yeah, that was dumb. Why'd I do that? I did good damage. Oh my gosh, that was dumb. And why am I speeding things up? I'm what I just said, I had tons of time. Carol needs some ammo. Actually, does he really? He's just going for distractions, really, so maybe he doesn't. I think we're about ready to push on this side now. So I'm gonna take the shots over here. It's gonna be Davis, and I gotta get uh, McLean all the way around. Serious, I don't even see him. My melee cab really weren't that effective this battle, unfortunately. Wow, that's 30,000 supply. Even on this minor battle, I went through a lot. So 
come in the round side here. Hopefully, I, I don't know if there's guys around here, but I want, just want to distract Sears. Although, if I can get hit from there, I really have a great likelihood of being able to distract them. Let's see. Oh, no, we are. Look at that. I think you're gonna hold that for it long, Oliver. Still hasn't fully rotated. Well, he got into position. That's more than I actually thought he'd be able to. That's pretty impressive. Shots from Sears. It's not the end of the world, actually. Alright, let's advance up on the next side. I think we're going to have to curl around a bit. Uh, nope. That looks good. No, I want a bit more of a curl. There we go. These guys can move up. Calvary have finally outlived their usefulness. I actually want to be careful. I don't want to capture the play. That's uh, because then the battle ends.
So we'll just avoid the flag for right now and move around it. Gage Crocker yet, just because you don't have to. Got extra troops anyway. Oh, it's too close. All right, let's see that plays out. They're still firing at me. Yeah. Let's see if that's better. Okay, so uh, um, six minutes left. I guess I could take the flag, but I think the battle ends. And um, I think when I did it three times through, it gave me an extra hour. Um, so I guess, yeah, let's just let the artillery do some Oh, but how devastating. I only tried it once. What happens if I don't get the flag? That'd be awful. That'd be really bad. How many troops did I lose? Almost 20%. Um, hmm. I guess the smart thing to do is to take the flag just to make sure. And we'll advance everyone up. gives me the time anyway.
heard one nab. What? I lost my Brigadier General right at the end there. Probably because of Eden taking those final casualties. And so I did lose about an hour of extra playtime than I maybe could have had, but that's okay. Uh, so overall, well, I lost 20% and too messy with my cavalry as always, but uh, went well. Again, mostly an experience gaining mission. Uh, horse artillery. Uh, whoa, that's my melee. No, it's not. <laughs> that's my melee. Oh, look how bad my melee did. Oh, I was so sloppy. I didn't just I maybe I was just bored, but that was that was messy and not very good. Lose a brigadier general is harsh. Two guys injured. Not very good in terms of promotions. So I lost uh, about three thousand, and I'm gaining back two thousand, about three thousand. So breaking even. I've got uh, six Jameses. Not bad. All right. Let's get logistics. Oh, Preston, that sucks to lose you. So this has Eden in it, so I do want someone reasonably high ranked. I'll put Poke there. Sure, and we switch those guys up. Okay. Um, oh, actually, you know what? Because I didn't bring in a guy from the 4th or 5th Division, they didn't get any experience. Huh, whatever. It's a minor detail. Um, so next one, I bring in 14, so it'll be these 6 plus these 2. Don't need to do Munford anymore. Because he's got 2 star. Don't need to do Keat. And don't need to do Stewart. Roberts is already there. Williams got it. So Terrell. Who did we want? Oh, this is AP Hill, right? He didn't come back. Oh, they only come back after large major battles. Yeah, the robbery lead to do a tiny skirmisher unit. Yeah, that'd be a little overkill. Um, get three star pretty fast. I almost should put someone higher here so these guys can get up to snipers faster. Extra range would be nice, especially on the end field. All right, um, like what a waste this was. What a waste, why was I so sloppy? So, 3,000 yes, there. So I just blew $20,000 being sloppy with them. Ugh. Um, so I can't, I'm not going to have AP Hill in here, so I need uh, someone decent. Let's get, I don't know if I want to put a Brigadier General there. I guess I should. I need someone high ranking. I don't want to put Robert Lee and then he's going to die. I guess Boyle will do. Oh, already three star. Oh, we don't need to go that much then. Oh, I should know that will help. So we can do rookies here. And then veterans for the rest. All right. Uh, so I got most of my guys up to two star. I want Upton to get three. Because he's close, so you can stay there. Hobson, thank you for your service. You guys did a fantastic job of sucking up some casualties. Clean as well. You've, you guys don't take too many casualties. The next one might make them 
two stars as well, because I'm going to need a lot if I make a fourth division. And Davis. Ooh, it took a lot of casualties. All right. Oh, and more did not get their levels yet, but should soon. Can I get now with James? Oh, look at that. I can. Excellent. More on the James as well. I'll do veteran. No, oh, no. At this low level, it's not worth it. Where's my other gun? Oh, yeah, I took him out because he had got the stars. Okay. So, um. Want lots of guns on this one as well. So, I'll need more infantry now. Let's see, I got one star, so I need a starred infantry, someone I want to get a rank on. Is there anyone over here? Oh, look at that. Wow. So Lyle and Frobo could actually combine OP body. Wow, you got devastated so yeah, we got some potential two stars up here for sure. Actually all these guys I should bring over. Peabody will just combine with somebody. One more. Oh yeah, Stuart. Lyle's really high. We'll, we'll make Lyle the three star there. So what do we got? 900, I want a 400. Do I have any 400s to combine with them? No, so I'll just put Peabody with them. Wow, Lyle got all that experience on the spring fields. 1842s, that's impressive. Anyone else likely to get a rank? Let's see. So Provo is. I wish I combined them earlier. That's well, not even Adams. I like it. I like it. Well, I guess we can take Davis out for that's Crocker, not Hobson. So what do we have? We have these two. Put them up here. So we have one, two, three. Often in two disposables. We have Leggett and MacArthur going for experience. Oh, I want Lyle to get experience. He's probably better. So I should replace him with Crocker. These guys, hopefully McLean and Davis can take the shots. And then um, we got our cannons here. We'll bring in Hoke and Eaton. I'm missing a cannon. I want my... Uh, where's my other James? Oh, I took him out, right. Uh, is five enough? Maybe it's five is enough. They seem to sit at a distance, so I don't really... Yeah, five should be enough. Okay, so we'll just do those two. So we'll have uh, six infantry divisions, two cavalry, one sniper, and five artillery. Sounds good. All right, let's get to it. What do they get? Oh... Always more troops. I wish they didn't get more troops. 
Still, we knocked them down about 15,000 and they got 30,000, so they're up 15,000. Very good. Doesn't look hard as well. Uh, this one, uh, you're supposed to take a location. Yeah, 6,000 on JNP's mod, max unit size. But you, you never do 6,000. I might actually do it um, for future battles if I want to make some melee brigades. I don't know if I'll stop at 4 or 6,000. Um, uh, they're good for melee brigades, but otherwise the enemy just uh, scales with you and you're making large brigades unless you're really going large. Uh, their scaling tends to get a little out of control and it makes your other units like cavalry, artillery, and snipers not so effective. Um, so they have a good size force. Vanguard's attack, so I gotta withdraw to prepare to defend. Did it tell me to defend? Yeah, but I mean, there's no point defending here. I'm obviously gonna defend back here in the in the forest. So I don't know why. I might defend over here, but they had artillery over here. Actually, yeah, why bother? I'll just defend here. So really, I just sit back over here. Can harass with my... Uh, Cavalry. I should be able to keep the, this one over here. This one, see if I can hit some flanks. And we'll just line this up. And they shouldn't really be able to stop me. I think they hover in this area here. And there's no point on capturing it. I really don't need to. Got Davis and. Oh, I don't want Frobel. I want more artillery. And I don't want. Who else did I not want? Um, I. I don't want Poe. McLean, there we go. That was my six. And we'll have three howitzers to stop any charge. And two. Maybe I should sit here. Hmm. Maybe I could put them. I don't like leaving them in the forest. So let's look what it did. But yeah, 70% of the damage they get firing from there. I guess really I could just go behind. I could just pull them both back there. All of these guys I don't like sitting. Maybe I'll move my whole line over here. That's good there. That's good there. I'm gonna sit there, I should really be defending there. I think they come right up there. All right, let's keep it over here. We'll defend the right side. And so these, uh, I checked them out last time, these are bad defenses, like 45% cover resistance, but you're in the open. So it's going to be 24% plus an extra 45. You're going to be sitting at 36% cover. It's not very good. And the melee resistance is only 20% on top. So these are terrible fortifications to hold. And you don't need to capture this, so just stay out in the open. you melee cav, I guess just to chase down people. I'm starting to think maybe I shouldn't even bring a melee cab in. Alright, let's scout, see what you guys have. Nothing yet. 
I got three hours, so it's enough time. At half an hour, I'll rush in and make sure I capture that. Oh, nobody? What? What's going on? Oh, there. They oh, carbine calf, too. Well, I guess that's why I like having melee calf. Uh oh, please don't fire at me. Oh, they're charging. That's probably even worse. Oof, I'm going to be distracted here. Oh, I may actually, yeah, they're going to go through the forest. I should be able to hold out here. These guys will be able to fire in. That's okay. Cavalry is definitely my focus. Let's get better positioning here. I, I thought they'd come across here so I could be using Upton over there, but I guess not. damage volley. Stuart! He betrayed us! Oh yeah. We got on him routing already. That would be excellent. I didn't realize they had so many cavalry on this. Oh, you fool. You should have run when you had the chance. That's a good start. Get rid of those guys. Let's see what else they have. I don't think they're coming from over here, although it'd be terrible if they did. I need another skirmisher. Just gotta make sure. And then if that's okay, I can bring these guys up here. Bring these two over here. Barrett, even though I don't want you in heavy cover, K 
case they're charging. I want some heavy firepower right up there. Uh, this is, um, I, I, I guess, the hardest standard difficulty. It's Iron Man uh, Legendary, and I'm playing kind of blind. I tried blind beforehand, but how the VPs move was too frustrating. So I do a little quick run through beforehand. Otherwise, I'm playing these battles fresh. Ridiculous that you could fire at me. So if I try to run beside him, hopefully when he recovers, he won't fire at me. Hopefully I can take him to the edge of the map. Oh, Eden, good job. That was faster than I expected. So maybe I can come, because I, I know they had artillery over here, so maybe I can come like this. Or maybe even over here. No, they, they got to have people in the center. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Glad I said a skirmisher over there, although I would have seen him anyway, but... Um, out in the open, he's big too, 27. I need my carbine to finish these guys off, so... Uh, actually, if he's by himself, I'll be able to kill him with my melee cav. Let's bring these two guys over just in case. Leave you there to attack and distract. Oh, Stuart coming in too. Let's move up a little bit then. my strategy. I'm going to take some hits doing that, but I guess that's okay. see Davis? It looked like they were going for him. I don't like that. I'm going to get him out of there just to make sure. this guy now. 
Oh. Maybe charging on me. Someone's charging. Got someone over here as well. Just gonna respond to the text now. Oh, Panda's doing my work for me. Thank you, Panda. <laughs> I see one all the way over there. Oh, he's gonna keep running. Oh, good, I got him. Smith is crossing. Oh, I love my carbine cavalry. Oh, it's the devil. I wonder if I could. I, I probably can. They're going to have way too much force over there, but just let's see if they're alone at all. Oh, no, there they are. All right, so one coming in there and one over here. Let's uh, get McLean over here. You can stop there and get back. They're not firing at me. I might as well take some shots of them. Oh, look. Now we got a nice view. Um, suicide time on Smith. I think so. Smith is the only one who's really going to bother me. Skirmisher split. No other splits. So we're actually really good on splits. I don't know if Eden will be able to get in there, but I guess this is what I've been the melee, melee cap for. Too. You're not going to flank around them. Oh, he split though. Darn. Well, that means he'll at least be easier to kill. I wonder where the other division is. Skirmish is there too. I don't want to engage them. Oh, don't fire at me. the other one. Let's go all the way to back then. Um, splits are the, every enemy um, has a chance. It makes the battles more random. So if you have played it, uh, you don't really know what the outcome is going to be. It also makes the AI a bit more aggressive because they have more units to do stuff with. So it's about a 20% chance on legendary. Well, that might be for all difficulties. I don't know of any uh, brig enemy brigade will split. So about 20% of the enemies. So you see one here and one here. That's about normal. So they split off, see back off is actually first and second brigade. So there's more than one. Now let's see if Boyle can finish off that brigade by himself. Okay, they're firing back. Let's get back. Did I lose my skirmishers? No, I didn't get them. Wait. 
turned around. Looks like he can turn fast, so I don't think Boyle's going to be able to harass him very well. These guys might have got one shot off, but not much. So now what you do is I'm going to line up for some shots on this guy. And then when I charge through, I'm going to charge through at this guy so my charge doesn't end. Maybe I should take him right into here. And the only one who can stop him is going to be Smith. Oh, I charged, clicked here, didn't I? I hope so. And hopefully I clicked on this guy to charge here. And then maybe I can route both. Skirmishers, I do not want Boyle taking shots from those. Two charging. Hopefully no one from over here. No, I got that side covered. Oh, look at that. Oh, finally their melee cavalry showing some effectiveness. So uh, they typically, my guys are pretty decent at two star, um, but they probably have about 1200 guys and I don't want to go even with them and they'll have artillery fire. So I have to actually retreat. That's too bad. I could have taken out their artillery. So let's get out of there. Those guys are going to hammer me too hard. Although they might turn around or they might derp. They can sometimes be pretty stupid. Uh, but they might not. And they might just come in and charge me. And I could rout and then I'll lose my entire brigade. Look at that. I'm hidden. There must be a hill blocking my vision. I can fire at them still. That's excellent. So these guys have no chance running in the open against all my artillery and my guys firing, so that's excellent. Two skirmisher brigades. Come on, get out of there, Eden. Get out of there! Oh, he's two star as well. coming in <laughs> this is what melee cav typically do and usually they suck when they try to do it but sometimes i had a terrible experience last battle where they actually uh, were very good against me all right so i can get eaten out of there that's good Ooh, wow just surrendered wow it's serious wow one shot on me and i'd be toast from these guys I think something like this and then over there I hope I don't know if it'll actually escape me but I hope come on fire there we go oh you're rotating oh no it's resetting Yes, they're being stupid. Oh good, look at that. They're retreating. So I'm going to hide in the woods potentially. Oh, they're going to recapture. Okay, they're not being that stupid. So hide in the woods and then hopefully come back to pick them off once they're a little bit more distracted. Don't know why they can't see me, but that's excellent. Oh, no, they can see me now. Looks like they're going to bring some heavy force on me now. So let's slide everyone back over a bit.
bad. I probably shouldn't retreat. It doesn't look like they're going for me, and I ran in the water, which could have been deadly. These are okay for right now. I'd like to take out those skirmishers. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Oh, artillery! Oh, they have artillery over there too. guys. There it is, Murphy. I can come around, hit him from the side, hopefully. Oh, look at that number go down. That's sweet. Oh, they're still chasing me. Look at that, actually. I think I'm going supply hunting. And then I'll come back for the artillery in the future. Excellent. Oh, that's so good to kill those skirmishers that way. I'm going to take a volley going in here, but oh, maybe I should wait. Yeah, I'll play it a little bit safer. Oh, Stuart's coming for me now. Oh. Melee cab can go for their skirmishers. This guy should have no chance. Somehow their targeting was screwed up.
Uh, they normally don't stop shooting at, at uh, routing infantry. Just sometimes it kind of bugs out. I didn't see what happened to those skirmishers. in there. charge in there. See here, they're routing and they're still firing at them. Just sometimes they uh, switch. Yeah, morale definitely has a lot of effect on how much damage they do. That's why sometimes I'm sitting out here in the open. I'm firing at these guys even because they have wavering morale, so they're less likely to do good damage. It's still probably dumb, but that's dumb. No, oh, I'm going to anyway. Going pretty well. Uh -oh. Getting hit by that artillery. Let's get these cavalry into the forest, see if we can do some damage there. Actually, no, I can't hit that. They'll see me coming easily. Putting my uh, snipers on hold fire because when you're not on hold fire, those guys are gone. Good. When you're not on hold fire, you reveal yourself. See, they stealthed. I didn't want to be revealed. Fortunately, these guys are still all visible. Cavalry is not as good as hiding in the forest, obviously. Yeah, not how much they take. Yeah, sorry, no, not how much they take, just how much they do. He 
he's turning back around. That's excellent time for Boyle to get in there and take some shots from behind. And then maybe you can go see if we can find some more melee cab over there. I mean artillery over there. Bad. They actually have those melee cavalry around here, otherwise I could focus on them more, try to do some more damage to them. But if I go over here and try to take out these artillery, look, they got someone right on top there. Um, it's likely they're going to uh, charge my melee cav. So I have to play a little bit more careful just for a little bit longer. The skirmishers walked right into there. That's excellent. Should maybe keep the supply over here just to keep my carbine cavalry stocked up. Let's see if I can go around again. Nice, finished off that artillery, fantastic. These guys back, and we can start harassing the other artillery. not a good idea to have my snipers over here. If they happen to get charged, they really don't have a good defense. We are charging, thank you. Should be able to annihilate him. It looks a little scary. Not really. But... Okay, you can pass there. You can go for the artillery now. Oh, in the water. Oh, you poor guys. Numbers drop. Oh, glad those aren't my guys.
So I'm gonna get behind them so I can charge right through over two back off. Just hurting them so I can focus on Smith. Charge right through. Just gonna have to focus on Judson. Nice, very nice. No captures, but that's okay. Whoa, whoa. It's not watching there. Would love to finish. Oh, nice. Actually, Eden can punish Judson off and Boyle focus on the artillery. If we can. I don't know if we can. Maybe we can't. No, it looks like we can't. Ah, he's coming in there. He's going to be too hard to deal with. And oh, I'm in artillery range already. They're steady. Maybe we'll take one last shot. I'm going to pull out. shouldn't have. Ah, this is stupid to bring my snipers out here. They're just not as functional. Being, being faster than your opponent is so useful. I'll be able to break them with these two, but I'm going to have to probably take more artillery fire. aren't I? I? I thought he just fired, so I don't know how we can fire again, but he shouldn't be able to. That was messy. Well, as usual, I'm killing all my cavalry. Coming down a bit here. Oof. Is he 
firing at? Why is McLean not firing back? Stewart should be able to defend against them though. Still under artillery fire, man. 164 of my three stars lost. Low in condition. Darn. I don't think he's going to be able to finish these guys off. He might, but I should give him some help. All right, just Smith. And then a couple melee calves who are of concern. And then the rest I could just slowly move in on. And I got an hour to do it, so lots of time, I think. Let's go finish him off, and then we'll come back for the uh, artillery. I can finish him off. You're tired. Just let Boyle finish him off. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Oops. Oh, no, 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 you do not fire. And Eden, they can see, is probably where they're coming in. Let's see if there's anything left over here. I don't think so. Oh, no, no, that's terrible. As I said, I shouldn't keep my sniper over here. Looks like he's not going to charge, though, because he might just fire off a volley and retreat. And again, maybe not. Oh, that 
was close. Oh, it's still going. I got them. Oh, wow, that was tight. Oh my god, it's still going. And my new Brigadier General. Look, they're still chasing him despite fighting back here. And my new Brigadier General died again. Wow, that's terrible. They are really chasing. He's not gonna be able to do it on his own. He's too exhausted. Oh, Eden and the Brigadier General killed. Oh, that's nasty. someplace a little bit safer. So 51 minutes. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to kill them all unless I get a little bit more aggressive. But I, I think I have most of their dangerous units almost entirely under control. So once I get this and I hit their artillery, I'm going to start pushing it a little bit more aggressively. I think 50 minutes should be enough to finish it up. That's excellent. I might not be able to get in there. You know what I'll do? I'll bring these guys up to get him turning towards me. Oh, actually, these guys over here. Yeah, I think with that one cavalry. Well, let's play it out a little bit faster, see how it goes. There, they're turning now. Reasonably. Yeah, recently we can move in on those guys now. Oh, skirmishers right there. That's okay, doesn't matter. Just want to add an extra couple three. Uh, but even just sitting here, what's wonderful with the cavalry, you can just sit here. And look, I'm going to get this artillery just to do nothing.
Davis to take the hits first. Now oh, hopefully Upton's not getting hit. I don't think so, I think it's on Davis. on up then shoot. So not much to say here, things are going well. Oh, it's mounting up just to slide stuff there, I'm honest about it. And these guys didn't mount up to go this huge distance. It's weird with horse, horse artillery in that way. Eden's not in perfect shape, but can maybe pick off some skirmishers. So let's get him in action. Good. 
be a challenge with both of them charging. Probably not, but... they're using. Sharps. Oh, not very good. Oof. That's not tight. They should be able to finish those guys off, I would imagine. Uh-oh. And I have made Eden work for it today. I would lie out if I could switch positions. Oh, MacArthur, you couldn't finish them. is one star in the open. Usually doesn't turn out well.
these guys to hit him so he can get in the forest. left I wonder whether they get a fight for the contested time or not minutes or whether it gives me even more time. Like we're not gonna find out. All right, that was a pretty easy mission. Uh, the past two were more like training missions. I lost. Uh, 1500 oh god I, I i just cannot help abusing my cavalry i wonder if it's because i'm streaming because when i didn't stream I, I would commonly have like 50 damage in my cavalry or maybe i'm just more cavalier now i don't know anyway knock them down about uh, 11,000, which is fantastic they'll probably get another 30,000. not surprising the carbine cavalry hey melee cavalry doing pretty good i wonder how those snipers did not great, not bad. I wonder if they got a level, I hope so. Artillery, fantastic job in that battle. Uh, man, the howitzers really seem to do a much better job than the rifled. Yeah, they, they howitzers stop the close range fire and, uh, and they do more damage generally. But the uh, rifled's there in case I need to hit targets at a distance, so. But I, I do prefer the smooth bores. Maybe it's because I don't have good rifle cannons and I can get lots of howitzers, or a reasonable amount of howitzers. Eden, after like 14 battles, charging in with melee cavalry, finally bites the bullet. Too bad. I don't know who Rawl Smith is. Oh, that was my new Brigadier General, wasn't it? Anyway, he's out. Well, he's only wounded. Uh, fantastic. Four more howitzers. Thousand hook uh, harpers, which is going to replace my losses, which is good. And the rest is just going to replace my losses, which is fantastic. Any 63s? No. No Springfield 63s. So otherwise, just a minor battle. All right. Uh, logistics up to five. I know I'm going to buy uh, these now. Or am I gonna buy them? 17,000, wow, those are expensive. Question is, is it better to have veterans or Henry repeaters? I think the answer is the Henry repeaters. But like for one division, you'd need to equip a ton. Look at the ones I know I want. I 
start buying Maynards. But worse for sure. And then I don't know about these. I mean, they're only, <laughs> they're actually a lot more expensive. They're a lot more expensive and they really don't perform that cost better. They're about, I'd say 25, no, maybe 30 or 40% better than a Lorenz. If that, and they cost so much more. Hmm. I don't, I have no plan in using them right now. I just want to know if I should spend the money now or I should save it. I have lots of reputation. I wonder if I should spend 20 on those two guys. Let's see how much, what happens if I lose. Oh, only 22,000 more. That's not bad because I killed about 12,000. So they only got about 10,000 more. That's not bad. Um, Fredericksburg, if I lose. <laughs> Minus 68. Well, I guess I have no choice but to win. Um, in a draw, I don't need reputation for anyway. <laughs> I've never seen it so low. It's just ridiculous. Why do they put that in? Why don't they just say you lose? I guess that's what that is. Uh, but look at this. Uh, this is excellent. Upton got his three stars. Lyle got the two. Oh, McLean close, but Leggett and MacArthur both got the two. Look at all these promotions. That's great. All right. Um, let's get a division commander in there. Oh, yeah, right. I like to uh, put Jackson in charge of our first division. He's pretty awesome. Terry there and Jackson. Yes, sir. Lee will lead our third core and we'll move Longstreet over to the fourth core. If we're going to make it, I'm, I'm not sure if we're going to have enough. Because we need to make a fifth division in each of these. Which is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. 3, 15, and 6, 21 more divisions, just filling the first three cores up. And for Fredericksburg, yeah, you only really use the three. I don't know what the reserves do. I don't even know what Fredericksburg is. Actually, I kind of remember this. This is Mary's Height over here, and there's a swamp over here from the Union battle. And you'd always get destroyed here, so maybe this one will be easy. This one, and this is like the final one afterwards. I kind of remember this battle from the Union side. Not too bad it wasn't actually. That, I think there must be a, an initial battle where you only fight a couple of troops. Anyway, I don't know if we'll make a fourth core yet, um, but I will definitely be taking Long Street out for. I guess I can do that now for Robert Lee. Who I get to give him promotions to. So speed I like. Fire specialist for sure. And then finally, morale damage. I, I don't understand why this is a perk. Morale damage is just almost never worth it. Well, maybe these ones aren't very good either. Oh yeah, so 25% experience, not so great. 50% cover, not so great either if you're already at 100%, but that's nice for everyone in your core to get plus 50% cover, protecting your artillery and stuff like that, stuff that's not in good. So I'll probably almost always take the cover because I don't, want morale, especially only at 10%. Um, experience could be really nice. Eh, yeah, no, I'm always going to take the cover, I think, just to help uh, protect my guys. 50% cover is pretty decent. So if you're in 50% boosted to 75%. Hmm. Maybe experience would be better help me get two stars which would be a lot more effective than just 50 percent cover and i have all these guys here who are borderline two stars but not there i'll think about that anyway oh that's not how cover works how does the cover work yeah i know i said if you have 50 percent if you have 50 cover getting that perk would boost you to 75 percent cover so it's just about, I, I don't remember the math, but going from that 75%, you probably take about 30% less damage than 50. So it's pretty good. But uh, experience actually, because I have all these units that I'm not putting veterans into and are just borderlining on one star, 
I think I might lean towards father figure. Because most of the time when I'm getting attacked, I try to keep my guys in 100% cover. This would really be effective for my cavalry, who I <laughs> take random shots all the time. They give them about 30% more defense. Yeah, good in the open, I know, I know. I'll think about that. Anyway, thanks for watching if you did, and have a good day, guys.